are oceans. They remain largely unexplored and contain many mysteries and challenges. On the shores of Abu Dhabi, I've come to meet a team investigating what role robots could play in our oceans. We use different types of robots. Some robots are called unmanned surface vehicles that stay on the surface of the water. And then we have the underwater drones that are used for the underwater operations. They're deploying these robots to perform various challenges. Today, they're simulating a task where robots could one day be used to clean up our oceans. So it has its own camera, basically it identify autonomously the plastics. It go there and pick the glass. So it picks it up, it picks it up, picks it up. And then we have the other boats like this, which has these baskets and it drop it there. And then this boat can bring towards the coastal and where you can remove that plastics. This research into autonomous marine robotics is being conducted by a team at Abu Dhabi's Khalifa University. We have about 90 researchers working in different aspects of robotics, plastic cleaning, coral reef inspection, a swarm robotics, aquaculture. In this robotics lab, students attach an array of technology, including cameras and sensors. In this research pool, wave simulation technology allows them to conduct their studies. Using advanced software, AI, and algorithms, they analyze the data. I've been working in the field since the 1980s, and there's never been a time like this. Advances in technology are changing scientists' approach to robotics. The arrival of AI is a game changer. Achieving their goal of building autonomous underwater robots is not easy. You don't have a GPS, for example, underwater. Your visibility is poor. You have waves and streams and you're buffeted uh, every which way. Communication is very difficult as well. So many challenging problems. Challenges that through sheer determination and continuous research, these scientists aim to overcome. <laughs>